told him yesterday prior to the game uh, that one game was going to make us a break. We were play that game the best as, the best as we could. Uh, and we didn't get the job done last night. We came in this morning with a lot of We saw we made our mistakes. Now we moved on to the side. Any further indication you can give us what might happen in the next few hours? I have no, uh, I have no knowledge about that. But, uh, you know, it, it, it looks like it's, you know, this is the deadline, the deadline date. Uh, nothing has happened. What they have told me not to practice? Yeah, not, not, not for him not to take part. Nah, in not necessarily. Not necessarily. We, we we have to go about this thing in a, in a regular, in a normal business manner, and that is to uh, conduct business as usual. Coach, you said you dealt with this before, as far as trade rumors, but has this one been more frustrating than normal, or about the par for the course? No, no. I mean, it's it, it's 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 what it is. During, during this time of the year, uh, when there are uh, rumors that circulate in this world. You can allow it to become a distraction, or you can just work your way through it. Uh, as I said before, I've been in this enough times as a player, as a coach, uh, and it, it's always like this, you know. Particularly when there's a uh, when there's a name that's mentioned on your team. Uh, but the most important thing is just not to get caught up in it. And, and my job is to keep the team focused and to, and to uh, get the coach, and that's what I'm going to do. What's the most difficult part about it as a, as a player and as a coach on both sides? What's the most difficult part about? It? Not knowing, especially on deadline day. The distractions, uh, uh, allowing it to be a distraction. That is the most difficult part uh, because there are a lot of, you know, there are a lot of talks that go on, a lot of phone calls that are made, uh, and there, there are times a lot of things just don't happen. And, and if you allow, uh, if you allow the, the, the uncertainty to, you know, to, to overwhelm you, then uh, you can get caught up in it. Uh, again, I try to focus focus strictly on what is at hand. My job again is just to make sure that I keep this group together, that I don't allow any, for, like, any type of distraction set on it. And uh, if something happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And uh, I just have to be prepared for the next game. That's, it. That's how we do it. Coach, I when asked you though how much input you have with Danny? Is he consulting you about possible things? Yes, he, yes, he is. Um, you know, we actually met after uh, last night's game. He uh, kept me, you know, got me up to speed on everything. Listen to what everything is, is being said, what, what's, what's going on. And, um, after that, again, my job is to prepare for our, our team for the next game, and that's, that's what my focus is. Is it difficult for other players? I mean, Josh is the name, obviously, that keeps coming up, but it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody else is safe. Yeah, I don't, I don't see the other players uh, uh, being distracted from it. You know, I, I can just tell the mood of this team is, is pretty good. Uh, you know, we're disappointed after after the we played in the fourth quarter last night. We don't like this one. Everybody's pretty much up there. You know, it was a little, it was a little silent in a film session, but uh, practice was, was a little bit upbeat. Everybody was uh, seemed to be in a good mood. And, uh, I got to, I got to, I got to think that everybody's, everybody's okay. Coach, when you were a player, I mean, there was no Twitter. You know, the networks weren't nearly as big, or there wasn't as much coverage. How do you think? How much harder would it be? For you to have dealt with this kind of situation now as it would have been when you were a player. Well, I mean, it would be hard if I were, uh, you know, one of those type guys who, who you know, who tweet and, and using all the social networks that, that are out there. But um, I'm, I'm not. So uh, what I try, what I try to do is, I know back then when I played and, and during this time, I just tried to stay away from it, from it as much as I can. I just told my agent if anything happens, just call me. If not, don't call me. But I can see where it can be a distraction. I certainly can see where it can be a distraction because, you know, when there's a, you're dealing with uncertainty, you know, and, and you know, again, these guys, they have families and, and they have kids, and uh, the uncertainty part of it is always a distraction. But, again, uh, there are a lot of times where there are things that are uh, hot topics and names come up, but nothing ever materializes. So you can't go you can't go on the what ifs. And, and, and if you do that, then you should be fine. So you, you mentioned that your job is to prepare this team, but as far as the uncertainty is concerned, you don't know if it's going to be the same team for tomorrow night's game. How much of a challenge is that for you? Well, I have to proceed as, as if it is. Uh, I won't go into this thing thinking that, uh, that there will be change. I just go into, go into this as what I have right now. Um, as we prepare for Sacramento, we prepare, prepare like everybody's going to be there. If there's change, then we'll make 